Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, we move to the last chapter for physics SP015 semester 1 chapter 14 thermodynamics Okay, so we are going to discuss the first law of thermodynamics first What does it mean by thermodynamics? The thermo means thermo so it means heat and dynamics it, dynamics it means work so for thermodynamics it is actually the relation of the energy the relation between two types of energy which is heat and also work okay so there will be a conversion between these two types of energy between weak and also work Okay, so this energy transfer will cause the change in internal energy of the system. We are going to discuss uh, about a system which is related to gas. Okay, um, that is related to the previous chapter, um, which is kinetic theory of gases. Okay, so uh, previously we have discussed about the definition of internal energy that is the summation of kinetic and also potential energy and according to the kinetic theory of gases we ignore the potential energy because we neglect the forces the, intermo the intermolecular forces between the molecule of gases so our so the gas internal energy consists of kinetic energy only okay so we also learn the relation between kinetic energy or, or internal energy that relate with temperature. So that means if there is increase in heat, so meaning temperature will decrease. So your kinetic energy or internal energy will also increase. Because we know the kinetic energy or internal energy is directly proportional to the temperature. Okay, so now we move to the equation for first law of thermodynamics. So, what is the equation for first law of thermodynamics? So, let's look at the definition first. First law of thermodynamics is defined as heat supply. Heat supplied. Um, the heat is denoted by symbol capital Q. is equal to the increase in the internal energy, which is denoted by symbol U. So, since it's, uh, we are going to define the first law of the thermodynamics as delta u so it means the change in it of internal energy lah. so heat supply is equal to the change in internal energy plus the work done by the system or uh, on the system so we are going to look at the um, this uh, plus and minus sign for q for delta u and also for w okay so the equation is given by heat for Q equals to the change of internal energy plus with work done by the system. Okay, so Q stands for heat. So if it's positive, heat is being supplied. And then for W is work done. We discuss later about which, um, which work is being done, either gas or maybe surrounding does the work. And then delta U is the change in internal energy. Change in internal energy. Okay, so final minus initial. Okay, so U1 as the initial and U2 as the final energy. Okay, so now kita akan gunakan, kita akan fokus kepada sign convention untuk Q, W dan juga delta U. Okay, so untuk Q, W dengan delta U ni, dua-dua ada positif negatif dan before kita guna formula First law of thermodynamic ni kita kena consider dia punya sign convention lah Whether it's plus or minus Okay so macam definition of first law of thermodynamic tadi Dia kata heat supply Kalau heat supply maksudnya heat flow Into the system, into the gas Maksudnya gas tu ataupun system tu absorb heat So it means the heat is positive Kalau heat is flowing into the system Tapi kalau heat is flowing out from the system ataupun system to loses heat so our Q will be negative ok so korang boleh bayangkan lah kalau heat absorb kita boleh faham lah maksudnya uh, heat tu uh, absorb diterima so kita punya Q akan jadi positif kemudian kalau heat loss to surrounding Q akan jadi negatif so kena hafal sedikit and then kita ada work done here W ok work done pun sama dia ada positif dengan negatif kalau work done positif Maksudnya gas tu yang do the work. 
Okay, so work done by the gas ataupun by the system. Our system is referring to the gas lah. Okay, so the gas is doing the work. So work done is positive. So kita boleh imagine the gas expands. Volume will increase. Okay, so bila W negative pula, it means work done on the system. So surrounding yang do the work on the gas. So the gas is being compressed here. Okay, then last kali, kita relate pula dengan internal energy delta U. So, untuk delta U ni pula, uh, dia kena relate untuk sign convention for Q and W lah. Okay, for Q and also W. Usually, kalau Q kita positif, kita tengok dalam equation ni, Q kita positif dan W kita positif juga, work done by the system, end up your, w, uh, your delta U should be positive too. Okay, jadi bila delta U kita positif, Delta U kita positif, maksudnya kita boleh imagine U final kita lebih besar daripada U initial lah. Okay, sebab dia adalah change in internal energy. So, final internal energy will be greater than initial internal energy. And then, bila kita cari delta U, kita akan tolak, kita akan dapat positif lah. Delta U is U final minus U initial. So, it will become positif. Okay, so, dan U, kita ada discuss juga dalam previous chapter. U ni the direct relationship dengan temperature Dia sama macam kinetic energy So bila delta U kita positif So it means here temperature kita increase Sebab kita nak dapatkan final U lebih besar Jadi temperature final akan lebih besar lah Okay So same goes to Kalau kita punya delta U kita negative So it means kita punya U decrease And our temperature also decrease So U dia ada direct relationship with the temperature That is directly proportional So How to memorize this sign convention? Macam mana? Okay, kalau saya, saya akan ingat dengan cara diagram dekat bawah ni. So, dalam cloud ni ada sistem ataupun kita punya gas. So, saya akan buat arrow dekat sini. Going in, going out. Okay. So, going in, going out. Uh, merah ni untuk heat ya. Eh. So, dia akan jadi plus Q. Maksudnya heat is going in ataupun heat is absorbed. And then minus Q, heat is going out ataupun heat is released. Okay, kita guna blue color untuk work done pula. Okay, work done on the gas, dia terbalik. Dia akan jadi W, negative. Work done by the gas ataupun by the system, akan jadi positif. So, senanglah sebenarnya kita nak ingat. So, untuk delta U, saya rasa tak perlu ingat sangat. Sebab kita dah tahu dah so, kalau kalau Q positif, W positif, end up kita akan dapat delta U positif lah. Just relate dengan first law of thermodynamics sahaja. Okay, so kita ada example one here. And then, kita baca dulu example ni. 2495 joule of heat is used to heat a mole of neon gas from 27 degree Celsius to 147 degree Celsius at constant pressure. Determine the change in internal energy of the gas. Okay, so untuk soalan ni sebenarnya, soalan ni dia untuk dapatkan internal energy U, kita kena tahu formula internal energy lah sebab dia hanya bagi temperature punya difference dan juga Q. Okay, Q. Dan kita dah tahu dah Q kita ni positif ke negatif. Sebab dia kata heat is used. So, heat is absorbed by the neon gas. So, your Q should be positive 2495 joule. Okay. Alright. So, nak cari internal energy. Kalau nak guna first law of thermodynamic. Apa kita punya formula? Hmm. Uh, Q delta U. Plus W, kalau kita nak cari delta U menggunakan formula first law of thermodynamic, dynamic, kita perlukan W, work done. Tapi kita belum lagi ada work done. So, untuk soalan ni sebenarnya kita kena guna chapter 13. Nak cari internal energy, kita just gunakan formula U equals to F over 2 NRT ataupun NKT. Sebab dia bagi number of mole, a mole of neon gas. Alhamdulillah, excuse me. Okay, kita dah bagi uh, number of mole as one mole. And then, dia hanya minta kita cari U given temperature. So, kita guna je lah formula ni sebenarnya. Okay, walaupun formula ni tak ada dalam chapter ni. Tapi, kita tahu kita dah belajar dalam chapter 13. Okay, so since kita perlukan delta U, perubahan U. Okay, so kita perlukan U final when temperature final is 147. And U initial when temperature initial is 27. And then, bila kita dah dapat the U individual tu, kita tolak lah U final. Minus U initial Ataupun kita boleh tulis je Equation ni as F over 2 And R T final Minus T initial Maksudnya Yang berubah adalah Temperature tu So kita akan dapatlah Dan temperature kita Mesti dalam Kelvin Ingat eh 
Temperature wajib dalam Kelvin Dalam mana-mana formula tu Make sure temperature kita dalam Kelvin Okay dan berapa pula kita punya degree of freedom kat sini Degree of freedom kita So according to the question It's a neon gas So that means your degree of freedom For monoatomic So degree of freedom F equals to 3 lah Okay so 3 over 2 NRT F minus TI So korang boleh jawab soalan ni Sebab dia hanya relate dengan chapter 13 Okay so kita proceed to B Work done of the gas So now baru dia minta kita cari work done So kita assume ini adalah jawapan yang betul Untuk change in internal energy Dan kita dapat positif uh, Bila positif maksudnya betul lah Sebab kita ada increase in temperature kan So kita punya U pun increase U final will be greater than U initial Bila kita tolak kita akan dapat positive value So here the answer is positive So untuk soft soalan B pula work done uh, Yes barulah kita guna First law of thermodynamic kat sini Sebab kita dah ada nilai Q Which is positive Heat is absorbed And then kita ada delta U From question A And then kita boleh solve untuk W Okay so itu saya bagi hint untuk soalan A dan B lah Dan mungkin decimal point untuk jawapan akhir ni Lari sikit lah So korang double check nanti Okay so let's proceed to example 2 here A gas expands under a constant pressure uh, Sorry A gas expands under constant temperature And thus work of 30 joule against surrounding. So, siapa yang buat kerja? Gas yang buat kerja. So, the gas uh, does work. So, gas is doing work. Work done by the gas. Okay, work done by the gas. Positif ke negatif? Work done kita akan jadi negatif 30 joule. Sebab apa? Sebab work done by the gas. Eh, itu okay. Sekejap, 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 sekejap. Work done by the gas. Okay, kalau nak ingat balik, gas... Dia akan jadi negatif Work done on the gas Work done by the gas Oh positif ha, Nampak saya pun dah lupa So sebenarnya diagram ni membantulah Okay so work done by the gas It should be positive Okay Alright so temperature uh, constant Tapi tak tahu berapa temperature punya value So now Apa yang dia minta adalah Change in internal energy of the gases Constant temperature So constant temperature Apa jadi dengan change in internal energy Boleh fikir sendiri sebenarnya So, since your temperature is constant, so maksudnya T final minus T initial, constant kan? So, bila constant, kita tolak kan, dia akan jadi 0 Kelvin lah. Okay, 0 Kelvin. Then, what happened will change, uh, with change of internal energy pun sama akan jadi kosong Joule. Okay, so sebab U ni dia adalah direct proportional to temperature. Kalau ada temperature berubah, baru U kita ada berubah. Kalau temperature kita constant, U kita pun akan constant lah ha, Jadi U final minus U initial pun akan jadi kosong Sebab nilai dia akan jadi sama Finally, initially and finally Okay, for question B So since uh, delta U dah ada nilai So question minta amount of heat absorbed by the gas So dia minta Q So by using first law of thermodynamic Q equals to delta U plus W Equation kita semua positif ya Sebab tu definition dia adalah Heat absorb ataupun heat supply to the system equals to increase in internal energy, positive, and then work done by the gas lah. Uh, the gas is doing the work. Okay, so we're looking for value of Q. So delta U now is zero. Do we have W? Yes, kita ada. So the answer for Q, heat is absorbed is equal to the work done which is 30 joule. Simple sahaja. Okay, so sebelum saya habiskan video ni. Saya just nak introduce sikit untuk kita punya second subtopik Ada empat proses untuk thermodynamic Okay, so keempat-empat proses ni dinamakan sebagai isothermal Isochoric or isovolumetric, isobaric and adiabatic proses So, kita go through sikit-sikit lah untuk keempat-empat proses ni Proses yang pertama kita panggil isothermal So, isothermal ni a process where it, occur, it occurs at constant Temperature Maksudnya Kalau ingat balik Dalam previous chapter Bila constant temperature Dia adalah Boy's law Okay Di mana Kita punya pressure Dengan volume Is changing Okay So kita boleh gunakan Formula Boy's law Dalam isothermal process Okay And then Okay Kita tengok graf sikit lah Macam mana Graf yang menunjukkan Isothermal Okay So graf untuk menunjukkan Isothermal ni Sebenarnya graf Boy's law Ingat tak Kita tunjukkan relation Um, P is inversely proportional to 1 over V Jadi curve untuk isothermal ni Kalau kita plot graph of P against V Kita akan dapat uh, 
the line of inverse lah inversely proportional between P and V ok so itu adalah curve untuk isotermal ok so arrow dekat sini pun penting juga tapi saya rasa nanti saya discuss detail lah arrow ni menunjukkan perubahan volume dekat sini so kalau arrow dia from V1 to V2 meaning your volume is increasing so kita boleh panggil dia sebagai isothermal expansion because the gas is expanding ok so proceed to second uh, uh, process which is called isovolumetry untuk ingat sebenarnya senang je bila nama dia isovolumetry maksudnya volume kita yang constant isothermal T temperature yang constant ok temperature kita satu value sahaja kalau isovolumetry volume yang constant tapi ada nama lain juga untuk isovolumetry kita panggil dia sebagai isochore ok so bila volume constant uh, kita tahu ini adalah hmm, Pressure law. Okay, pressure law. Tak silap saya pressure law. Okay, Lusak law. Okay, so kalau ingat. Okay. Lusak. Macam mana je Lusak eh? Law. Okay, di mana volume is keep constant. Dan kita boleh gunalah formula. Oops, sorry. Formula untuk okay, Lusak law ni. Okay, dan macam mana graf untuk isovolumetri ataupun isochoric. Dan bila volume kita constant, maksudnya kita hanya ada satu sahaja nilai volume dekat sini. So, kita punya curve akan menunjukkan satu nilai volume sahaja. Okay, jadi kita tak, ada, tak akan ada expansion of gas, tak akan ada compression of gas sebab volume dia hanya ada satu value and the volume is keep constant. Yang akan berubah adalah pressure. It's either pressure increase or pressure decrease. Depends on arrow. Okay, seterusnya kita ada uh, equation, uh, sorry, proses yang ke seterusnya, proses yang ketiga kita panggil sebagai isobaric. Alhamdulillah, excuse me. Isobaric pula adalah proses di mana pressure yang constant. So, kalau ingat pressure constant ada satu gas law yang relate di mana uh, proses tu berlaku at constant pressure yang dinamakan sebagai Charles law. Okay, so Charles law kita boleh direct gunakan formula Charles law lah. Sorry. Okay, formula Charles law dekat sini. Okay, so... Untuk graf Charles law pula macam mana? Okay, so kita perlu pressure yang constant. Jadi, pressure kita kena ada satu value saja. So, curve kita horizontal line. Okay. So, dia boleh jadi arrow ke kanan atau arrow ke kiri. Depends pada kita punya volume. So, kalau dia ke kanan, so it means volume increase. So, dia isobaric expansion. Tapi, kalau dia ke kiri, arrow-nya V2 to V1, volume is decreasing. So, dia akan jadi isobaric compression. Okay, so dan last kali, proses yang keempat kita panggil sebagai adiabatik. Adiabatik is a process where no heat transfer, no heat going in and no heat going out from the system. So, kita, si, kita uh, paling senang, in simple way, we can say that Q is zero lah. No heat in and no heat out. Okay, tapi pressure, volume and temperature is changing. So, kita boleh gunakan formula ni lah. So, that is actually ideal gas punya equation lah. Okay. So, macam mana nak tahu curve untuk adiabatik? Adiabatik ni disebabkan P berubah, volume berubah, temperature pun berubah. So, dia adalah curve. Okay. Dia adalah curve seperti ini from A to B. Tapi, kita nak tengok beza dengan isothermal. Sebab isothermal pun curve kan? Isothermal daripada A kepada B, temperature dia constant. Hanya satu value saja, Tapi ini temperature pun berubah. Jadi nampak tak uh, kita ada dua graf isothermal dekat sini. Okay, so kita ada isothermal untuk T1. Dan kita ada isothermal untuk T2. Dan graf adiabatik adalah between this T1 and T2. Nak menunjukkan ada perubahan temperature. From T1 to T2 lah. Because the arrow is going down from T1 to T2. So, kita tengok juga arrow is to the right basically. To the right and going down. So, from V1 to V2, your V is increasing. So, it means your volume is increase. So, it will be adiabatic expansion. Okay, and pressure is dropping lah from P1 to P2. Okay, so saya just introduce empat-empat proses thermodynamic sahaja. Supaya korang dapat idea untuk kita discuss detail dalam second subtopic nanti. Okay, alright, thank you.